Hello everyone. So we already went over the little mini jump, rolling forward, bend down, jump up and bend down. Today I wanna talk about the 180 jump. Looks like this. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. So the way I like to do the 180, some people might sort of call it cheating. So how you do it is you start with your legs staggered. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use my right foot forward and left foot back. Right After you're in this position, you're going to pivot on your front wheel. So on your toes, pivot until you are facing the opposite direction. Notice that my shoulders stay facing the camera. I'm just pivoting my heels so that they're in the opposite direction. So at first, just practice moving your heels a little bit like this while keeping your front wheels down the whole time. And then try taking bigger steps, bigger movements with your heels, maybe 90 degrees. So when you're doing the 90 degree one, start staggered. Both feet are pointing to the right and you are facing forward. You're gonna lift your heels so that your toes are facing forward. Now you're gonna lift your heels so that your left foot is forward and your right foot is back. Forward, switch, forward, switch. And now when you're ready, Go ahead and skip that in-between part and lift your heels all the way, 180 degrees. So first my right foot is in front. I'm gonna land so that my left foot is in front. And you can do it again the other way, pivot. And here's what that looks like rolling without lifting my toes from the ground. Pivot on my toes and then I continue rolling backwards. Pivot on my toes, continue rolling backwards. Now my legs continue to be staggered the whole entire time. If I'm going this way, left foot is in front and now right foot is in front. So once you've got that down, it's time to add the jump. You're still gonna keep your legs scattered, scattered, <laughs> staggered, but you're lifting all wheels off the ground. Start with right leg in front. Actually, let's do this. Let's do the 90 degree exercise so it'll look like this. All right, I'm gonna start from standing still. So, stagger so that your right leg is in front. Then you're going to jump so that you are facing forward. And then you're gonna jump to the left so that your left leg is in front. And now jump forward, jump again, opposite, forward, opposite, forward, right, forward, left, forward. And then when you're ready, skip the middle and go all the way 180. It's a little bit harder to do it standing still. So here's the 180 again. Right is forward, now left is forward. Now notice that I'm barely lifting my feet from the ground. But a jump is still a jump, no matter how small. At this point, we have mastered the 180 jump with our feet staggered. Another way that you can do the jump is to not stagger your feet. So roll with both feet parallel and then jump so that they're parallel the opposite way. Again, it will help if you practice it in small increments. So, both feet are parallel. You're gonna bend your knees and then jump so that both feet are parallel, facing forward and then jump, facing the other way. Jump and jump and jump.
and now you're ready to try jumping 180. I find that it's a lot easier to stagger because your feet have less traveling to do. When you're staggered, really, your hips do most of the work. But when you're parallel, not only do your hips have to move, your upper body has to move a lot more. So here I'll do one where my upper body doesn't move. Watch my shoulders. They stayed the same. My shoulders stay in the same position. Now I'll do a regular 180 where I have to move my shoulders because I'm facing forward and now I have to swing my whole body to face the opposite way. So it takes a little bit more work, but still doable. Like I said, I would suggest starting out the staggered way. So you can just get that feel of a jump. Last thing I want to mention here is don't forget to bend your knees. So when you're going into that jump, swing your arms back, bend your knees, and then go up. So again, that is you're rolling forward, your arms go back, bend, and up. Now the 180, same thing, same arm movements, back, down, up. Again, those arms are back, down, up. Think of it as like, like you're scooping. Back, scoop, bend the knees, and jump. Back, down, and scoop, and jump. Now, if you're skating like this, if you're skating at a rink and you're doing a 180, chances are that you're going to want to keep continuing to skate backwards. So, check out my video tutorial on how to skate backwards right here, and I'll see you soon.